What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Thought Review. I'm Brandon, a 25-year-old millennial from People of Property. Let me share a little bit more about myself. I've been focusing on the residential segment for the past 3 years and counting. Mainly private resale, HDB resale and private new launches. Today let's talk about a hotly debated topic among the millennials. Can you guess what it is? BTO versus resale HDB. Let me summarize for you real quick. If you're intending to apply for BTO, what are some of the advantages? Number one, it's a brand new home from HDB. Number two, it's a subsidized flat. Number three, capital gain. Well, you might ask me, hey Brandon, how much can this BTO make? Well, we have to go into finer details like location, amenities, and future developments in the estate, whether it's a mature estate or a non-mature estate. So what are other considerations you have to take on the time of BTO? Number one, construction delays. Due to the current COVID situation, logistics and manpower resources are limited, hence the delay in constructions. Number two, you have to also factor in the width of the sales launch of the desired location and also the balloting period which can usually take up to 6 to 12 months. Number 3. The next move. If you have the aspiration to stay in a condo, you have to factor in the 4 to 6 years of construction time plus 5 years MOP totaling up to 9 to 11 years before you can sell your flat and move on to a condo. Now, HDB resale. What are some of the advantages? Number one, there are more grants for first timers, up to 160,000. We have family grant, enhanced housing grant, and proximity grant. Number two, you have the flexibility to choose your desired location and the right unit for yourself. You can prioritize your house hunting nearer to your parents, work, or good schools if you have future family planning. Number three, you can kickstart the next move, which is your upgrading journey. After staying 5 years or more in the current unit, you can sell it off and upgrade to a condo as compared to a BTO which usually takes 9 to 11 years before you can sell and upgrade. In short, there's no right or wrong move, you just have to find the most suitable path for yourself. We now come to the end of this episode of Pop Review. Do feel free to contact me for more solid advices. Remember to smash the like button below and subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you soon. You cannot fart also. <laughs> Don't be You're <laughs> <laughs> pressing on Starlight <laughs> Remember to click here for more. <laughs> <laughs> no. I need to say anything you can't have it like I watch NOC. Remember to slash Slash, 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 slash. <laughs> okay.